Welcome back to Ministry Minute. The topic for today is prayer still works. Mark 11.24 says, Therefore I say unto you, What things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. Folks, it's a simple topic for today. There is still power in prayer. We all have heard about that young man, that young NFL star who collapsed on the field. And it was just a beautiful sight to see people from both teams coming together, kneeling and praying in the middle of the field. That shows us that all hope is not lost. Jesus is our only hope. And last time I checked, he lives and will live forevermore. Folks, if we just call on God, if we just ask him, if we ask from our hearts, whatever it may be, whether it's for salvation, healing, deliverance, whatever the prayer may be, if we just call on him and ask him from our hearts, if we just ask him in his name, he hears you and he's waiting to answer your prayer. It may not always be in the way we want or when we want, but let me tell you, prayer still works. There's been so many people who should have died that God brought them through because of a prayer. There's many mothers and fathers, grandmothers, grandfathers who are praying for their children, their grandchildren, and those prayers have brought us through. So many things could have happened, and dare I say should have happened, but it was the prayer of the righteous that kept us. If it wasn't for those prayers, it may, not, it may be a prayer, but you may not even know that was prayed for you. But God heard the cry, the prayer of somebody, and we're still here. In the midst of all of our foolishness, all of our sinfulness, God has kept us. He answers prayers. Again, it may not always be in the way we want. We may not understand everything God does, and that's all right, because he's God. He knows what he's doing. And I'm telling you, friend, if you just call on him, if you just pray and believe, things will be a lot better than they are. No matter what your situation, your trial, your test is, just go to God and pray. Take it to him. You've been trying to figure it out all by yourself. But at the end of the day, sometimes God would just let everything else fail just to point you right back to him. Because at the end of the day, we need him. We need Jesus. We can't make it without no matter how much we may want to. We can't make it without him. So, folks, whatever that issue is, whatever that situation is, whatever that need is, go to God in prayer. Go to him sincerely. It's not about how long you pray. It's not about how sophisticated you sound. It's from the heart. If you're praying from your heart, it don't matter how, how short or how uh, unchurchy it may sound. If you're praying from your heart, God hears that cry. Somebody could pray for five hours straight and be just praying to be praying. And they may not even be praying from their heart. God will hear the prayer of somebody who prays for five seconds, who's praying from their heart. More than he will hear somebody who's just praying just to sound like they're somebody. Folks, it doesn't matter how you pray. It's about the intent of your heart. God looks at the heart. He wants truth in the inward parts. So if you are sincerely crying out to God, saying that there's no other way, if you're just crying out from your heart, asking God to help you, he will. He will show up in the midst of your situation. He may not come when you want it, but he will always be on time. Whether it's healing, deliverance, whatever you may need, God is waiting to answer your prayer. So keep holding on. Keep believing. Prayer still works.